Hello classmates, today I will be talking to you about hypnobirthing. The way I will conduct a session about hypnobirthing is that my friends, my friend will be asking me a series of questions and I will be answering um, those questions to educate you guys about hypnobirthing. In your own words, what is hypnobirthing? Hypnobirthing is a philosophy and technique used by women wanting to give natural childbirth. Um, by no means is this philosophy of hypnobirthing a new sensation. Women have been using hypnobirthing and hypnobirthing techniques for years. Hypnobirthing teaches women to relax and be in full aware of their bodies and what they're experiencing during labor. Uh, what we must remember is that hypnobirthing is for women um, who have healthy pregnancies and are of not high-risk pregnancies. What are some common misconceptions of hypnobirthing? Some common misconceptions of hypnobirthing is that it's used in out-of-hospital settings only, which is false. Hypnobirthing can be used in hospitals, or if a woman wants to do a home birth, or wherever she decides to deliver her child, hypnobirthing can be used. Other common misconceptions is that hypnobirthing is 100% pain-free, um, It's which is not true. Um, women um, still experience pain. It's the level of pain and the way we look at pain that women experience it differently with hypnobirthing. Why is birth in our society viewed as being so painful? I think we all have um, some kind of misconceptions of uh, natural childbirth being so um, painful and having so many complications from the movies that we see, um, from the media, and even from TV, of this woman in, of a woman in agony and pain while she's giving birth. Um, when in actuality, um, women within themselves have endorphins that are 200 times more powerful than morphine given in the hospitals for pain reduction. So if we learn to um, release those endorphins, then essentially what happens is we have a, a different experience with pain and certainly a less painful experience while childbirthing. Can you talk about the involvement of affirmation and hypnobirthing? Sure. Affirmations um, are, I believe, to be a huge part of hypnobirthing. Affirmations include statements like, <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Affirmations include statements like, I am aware of my body. I trust the process of labor. I trust my body. I trust my baby to know what to do during labor. Those affirmations put a woman in a positive state of mind where she is not fearful and anxious about the process. What often happens is that women um, during labor become fearful and anxious and therefore their bodies tense up when they go into fight or flight mode. This tension uh, prohibits blood and oxygen going to the muscles needed uh, for birth. Um, so those muscles are not receiving oxygen or blood and um, it really slows down the process and thus fear becomes pain during labor. What needs to be present to achieve relaxation? I think for me to achieve relaxation I need to have things that are familiar to me. Um, uh, things that for me involve uh, a massage for my partner, um, 
having his support during labor, having a quiet setting during labor, um, maybe playing some soothing music. Uh, some women even decide to have uh, a birthing doula, which is a birthing coach, um, that really uh, is there for support as well, and also to um, be able to recite those affirmations for you to have a comfortable and relaxing experience during labor. Now we're going to talk about um, the four basic hypnobirthing techniques. We will give you a brief introduction to each of them. The first technique involves breathing, a breathing exercise. Second technique is relaxation exercise. Then we will go into the technique of visualization and end with deepening. The first technique, um, my partner will instruct me on a breathing exercise that I will demonstrate for you guys. <clears throat> Relax your body and close your eyes when you're ready. Rest your back against a pillow and place your hands across the top of your belly so that your fingers barely meet. Exhale briefly to clear your lungs. Slowly and gradually draw in your breath to a rapid count from 1 to 20 as though you were inflating your belly. This will help you during contractions. Gradually exhale through your nose, slowly once again, counting rapidly from 1 to 20. Remember to keep your body limp, not stiff. Remember to hold your breath, to never hold your breath. Okay, that was a brief exercise of a brief introduction to a, a breathing exercise. The next um, exercise we will practice is a visualization exercise, which uh, again my partner will uh, be giving me some visualization along with some affirmation um, statements and as we play um, some soothing music in the background. Let your body relax and close your eyes when you're ready. You are relaxed in control, comfortable, let go of all tension, let yourself be in total relaxation. The more relaxed you are, the easier it will be. Let all of your muscles become very Relax. You and your body know exactly what to do. Your baby knows what to do. Your delivery is successful. Your baby is healthy and strong. Allow these suggestions to enter your mind deeper and deeper and into your subconscious mind. Each time you do this exercise you will feel more and more ready for the birth of your baby, your healthy and strong baby. So that was a brief exercise of visualization and affirmation. 
Um, the next exercise we will do is of relaxation. And um, as my partner joins me in the light touch massage um, exercise. As I extend my hand, my partner will begin to <laughs> stop, Crystal. Okay, do it again. Okay, go ahead. As I extend my arm, my partner will begin to lightly touch the surface of my skin, which will produce the goosebump effect. This goosebump effect will release endorphins, which are the good feel good endorphins that will make me relax. Doing this exercise during labor produces the effect of relaxation and makes the mother um, release their, those endorphins that are necessary. The next exercise will be of deepening. As my friend reads a script to me, my partner and I will join in a deepening exercise. Relax your body. Close your eyes when you're ready. Imagine that you're putting a soft silver glove onto your right hand. A special glove of natural endorphins. Immediately, the fingers of your hand begin to feel larger and to tingle as though there were springs at the end of your fingers. Your palm and the back of your hand will cause your hand to feel numb the way it would if you replace it into a large container of icy slush. As your birth companion strokes the back of your hand and arm, feel a tingling and then numbness surrounding your hand and moving up your arm. Once your hand and arm lose all sensation, they begin to seem as lifeless and senseless as a piece of wood or a piece of leather. The silver mist of endorphins gradually drifts throughout your hand so that it can be transferred wherever you wish to bring relaxation and comfort. To transfer the numbing effect, just visualize placing your hand on various parts of your body. Each part now feels light, numb, and senseless. Even moms who claim to feel uncomfortable when being touched fall into relaxation when the birth companion uses this technique and recites birthing prompts. Okay, that concludes our last exercise of deepening. Um, once again, these have been uh, a brief session and introduction to hypnobirthing and the four basic birthing techniques, which included um, breathing, relaxation, uh, visualization, and deepening. Just to let you know if you guys want to know more about hypnobirthing and these techniques or where I got these techniques is from the book called Hypnobirthing by Marie F. Mongan. And it's a great book and it's uh, the resources I used for this video and also my journey. Thank you guys and I hope to um, see all your videos online.